Good morning everybody. Um, I thought I'd make this video. Um, there's two things in my head. One is the word motivation and the other one is the poor performance of the WRX STI in the humidity yesterday. Uh, it's thundering outside right now. And it's raining. Um, and the performance was restored yesterday. So when I went home, the performance had been restored, albeit not greatly, but it, it was the low idle speed wasn't there and that. But what this video is about is about motivation. <laughs> um, <laughs> white bread. Uh, it's funny, it's like I don't link myself to motivation because I've just noticed that most of the time I'm not. Like most of the time... And it's the way I've been. It's like I don't want to fall in for patterns and stuff. So like seeing my dad growing up using the same roads every day at the same lights, like bashing his knee, you know, going <sighs> like on the way to work, just wanting to be different and better had me, you know, until today, like one day I'll take Foreshore Road and the next day I'll take a different road so I like to break up routine what I've noticed is I mean I've thought about it I've just watched a few videos out there oh, Jim Carrey's awesome guys Jim Carrey's awesome uh, but you know it's about routine and when you think about it you know the president of the United States when he wakes up in the morning wants to be lazy I don't think all of us are motivated 24 hours a day and I know there's certain people that get irritated by people that are sort of uppity up so I had a great friend of mine standing here two nights ago and another mate said to him are you on something and Michael who's you know beaming with energy he loves his work he's a chiropractor he's he's the perfect man right He's, he's fine he's happy in life he's got his ups and downs but you don't really see it he always seems motivated he's jumping up and down in the kitchen and I was trying to explain to my other mate oh the dog's barking um Michael's just high on life so yeah um okay what this is about I'm gonna go to the gym now even though come baby come inside come on dog's going mental wow wow Okay. Where's the crack? Ooh. It's, the storm's far away. There we go. So the storm's about eight, eight kilometres away by the sound of it. Hey, baby. Oh, was that you barking? Oh, who's the best little boy? Come on. He's been inside all night. I've been up from three in the morning. So, yeah, I get up at three in the morning and I start thinking and I'm definitely in some kind of awakening. Anyway, back to motivation. Who is bloody motivated? You know, but you know what, guys? That feeling of sitting there on the couch, like just, just wanting to, I don't know, just go Ugh, back to bed or what am I going to do with the workshop and... One kid's here, one kid's there. I didn't want the kids. So I wanted to move to New Zealand. I mean, like, I just don't know what to tell you guys. It's like, turn that shit stuck feeling into something better. And what I've noticed is, like, what I do is I sit there on YouTube and think that that's turning into, into something better. And it really is. It really, really is. But you've got to act on it. Be different. Use a different road to work. And... Okay, normally I don't have breakfast. I thought, be different, have breakfast. Like, I don't, you know, I'll go without it. Um, okay, so my mum always used to make this. All it is is you just chop up tomatoes, and I used olive oil today, and I put three eggs on it. I probably won't eat all that, but you easily could. It's got a really fresh taste. Uh, you know, normally we'd strain the water out of the tomatoes and that. You don't want them all soggy in that, but the longer you cook them, the more they roast. Uh, and yeah. And that, that's going to be my breakfast, bit of salt and pepper. I thought I'd share that. That was my mum who's uh, who's gone now. Mum had breast cancer and died four or five years ago. I don't know, like, it spread and whatever. But, yeah, uh, we got rid of it, actually. Uh, she, she used apricot seeds and all the cancer stuff disappeared. It really did. Um, but in the end, you know. So, anyway, that's a nice memory of her. And as I said in the previous video, sharing the content... But yeah, it's like 
All we've got is the here and now. It's like, did I feel stuck? Yes, I did. Do I feel motivated now? Yes, I did. Am I crazy for sharing this? No, I'm not. I said to myself, no, I'm not going to make a cooking video. Yes, I am. The cooking video is in there. It's probably the best thing you'll get out of this. But also the fact that, you know, we're not all motivated. You can't just be motivated all the time. But then what are we? You know, we're in love. Okay, so we're in love. And then we act on that because we're in fear and we're always in something. Now, I don't meditate and I probably really need to and I, I'm, I'm getting into it. I, I will learn. <laughs> but, you know, what is it about right now is me getting to the gym before my ex-wife drops off my beautiful four-year-old Jonah who you saw on the speedboat. Uh, if you're watching the videos from New Zealand um, and he's great. But once I have him, I can't go to the gym and you know it's not that I want to go to the gym and that's why I'm going to the gym. I absolutely despise the place guys, the smell of the rubber, all the people looking at each other, looking around to see if they're all looking at each other right, it's just such a wank but this is the best thing for me right now and I know it. So am I using the car as an excuse? Yes. So then I thought of driving the car in the rain and that got me to put my shoes on. And now I'm going to the gym. So make a quick coffee, refill the water tank, all right, uh, and and I'm out of here. But hope that helps. Like, yeah, you can't, you know, I ask you guys, oh, how are you going? Are you motivated? But not really. It's not about motivation. It's about being in the here and now and just feeling it. So just I was sitting on the couch and I was going to go back to bed and, you know, by the book, should I go back to bed? Yes, I'm probably going to be fatigued later, but no, I'm going to get wake up feeling like crap. I'm going to sleep in. Um, I'm not going to be ready for my four-year-old. Plus, when I go to the gym, it's just catalyzing. You know, it's a catalyst, and that's why I've made this video. This video is a catalyst for more. It might not be the best scenery. You can see I've got a problem when I clean my stove, but then again, look at it this way. When you see a stove like this, the person's a brilliant cook. That's what I reckon. Okay. So yeah, I've got an issue with this, this, this thing. I keep thinking, oh, it's so much, it's so much, and I leave it and leave it and leave it and leave it and leave it. And this is a very good example of how your life will become if you give in to that, I don't want to go to the gym. We're all got the laziness in us. You know, I want to be lazy. It's by default the easiest thing to do. Don't we all want to sit on the couch and do nothing? Yes, we do. But how do you feel when you do it? So have a good day. Do something different. That's my advice. Um, is it different for me to get up at this time and talk to myself and cook and get on YouTube? Not at all. This has very much been my mornings for a few years now, but as in I'm sick of getting stuck in this place, inactive and then bailing out. So I'm the sort of person that will go to the gym and go to the car park and then, and then start the engine and drive away because I'll find an excuse not to go, right? So it's not only about the gym, this is about anything. So if you've got a day off today and you wanted to do, just do it. Just do something different. Get out there. I'm talking louder than I normally would. Normally I'd be whispering now, stuff it. My middle son's not getting up and no one can hear me because it's pouring. And even if they can, I don't care. So, you know, it's like societal norms, like keep constraining us. Get up and get in the car at 4.30 in the morning and go down the national park and then go to the gym in Miranda. I don't know but shake it up a little bit because I tell you what, with me, boredom is crippling. It cripples me that whole, oh, I don't want to watch it on TV and I don't want to sit out there, it's too hot. And you know, I'm, oh, all I ever do is do things with my kids and no, each one of those things is fine if you enjoy it in the here and now. So yeah, I'm going to get going now. And uh, what's this about? You don't have to be motivated. Just feel that bored shit feeling and turn that around into something. That's what I'm doing. So if, if you're feeling it, if you're fearing it, this is what I was thinking earlier. So is something real? What, what is it? Is, is, the, is the fact that I'm thinking, oh, I don't need to go to the gym or I should go, is it real? Even if I'm acting out of fear on it, yes, it is. So if you're going, no, I'm not going to go to the gym in the pouring rain at five in the morning. That's crazy, right? Yes, it is real. So choose what you want to do. And after you do it, you'll likely feel better and more energized. So like I was saying, making this video is a catalyst. 
you know, it might not be the best video or maybe it is, but that doesn't matter anymore. I don't, I'm not scared of it. I'm not scared of – I know that the people who don't want to watch it won't and that will go away and, and it doesn't affect me. But am I sharing the content? Yes, share your content. You know, share something with someone today over the phone, post it on Facebook or on Insta or whatever you may do. But as in – once you feel that frustration kick in, do something. Go and vacuum your car. I don't know. But, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it's so easy to get bored. It really is. And it's so crippling. Anyway, see you guys. Have a great day. Bye.